Hello, welcome to the weather update. It is 9 o'clock and it is 19th of February. I hope you all had a great weekend. Yesterday was beautiful. We had clear skies and uh, perfectly average temperatures too. Uh, looking, at, uh, looking at what we had here uh, yesterday, you could see uh, yesterday uh, at Islip, completely normal <laughs> for, fa for, for fa the one day that was normal. We were, yeah, our high was 42. That's the normal high. Our low was 26. That was a low. And that leads us with an average of 34, which is what we had. So zero. No, we're right on the money yesterday. Uh, and it was a beautiful day. Uh, and I was in the Pine Barrens, if you didn't get to see that video. Uh, but as far as today goes, you can see plenty of clouds around today. Uh, and uh, the clouds, though, were interesting, though. So, of course, sort of what, what, what they looked like. We had some of the interesting um, altocumulus clouds in the sky, and you could see a little Virga falling from them. Uh, you could see just really rather interesting cloud formations in the sky today. Uh, really, uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool there. So you could sort of see like a little, there was like little light showers thing falling from that mid-deck there, but none of it was reaching the ground. And I believe this was associated with a warm front. If we go, yes, yeah, sure enough. So here's here's the weather map, and you can see a warm front has moved through our area, uh, and that's why it feels like the temperatures have gone up tonight uh, compared to during the day when it felt cooler, actually. Uh, so let's go take a look at what we've got going on. And again, this is the big weather map for the country, and you'll see again, if you go here, you see all the storminess. Out west, of course, this is where they've got those winter storm watches, and looks like we got some hot, high wind watches in effect, too, for the west. Uh, but as far as us, uh, rather, you know, tranquil day, just a lot of clouds around today. Uh, and the temperatures do seem to be rising tonight, or at least it feels like they are. Looks like New Jersey's already getting up to near 50. Uh, let's take a look at what it's like at Islip right now, 46 with a southwest wind. So let's see, it feels like the temperatures have bumped up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I do see a 47 there. Yep, they have risen. So during the day, we were pretty much in the mid-40s with all that cloud cover. Uh, the wind is showing clear. We had a lot of high clouds, I guess, just whatever. It's not detecting them. Uh, but you can see mid-40s today. We had a south wind. Uh, you'll notice the dew points in the 30s. And then you'll notice when that warm front passed that the temperatures are starting to go up. And the moisture level in the uh, is also going up as well. And the winds went from south, south to south southeasterly flow to a southwesterly flow. Uh, so that is the change that we're seeing right now. Uh, so if we look at the highs and the lows for the day, we'll go ahead and look at that. And you see highs generally on Long Island were in the uh, mid-40s. And look at that, much warmer in New Jersey today. They got into the almost mid-50s, uh, again, because of that south wind. It was over the land, over Jersey, so plenty warm for us. It was over the water, so it kept us cooler. Uh, but now that the winds have gone turned to a little more westerly direction, uh, we're starting to see those temperatures rise uh, and uh, that's like that's because of that warm front uh, that we had. So actually, let's look at our lows next. Let's see how low we got this morning. See if there's any radiational cooling. Not a tremendous amount. West Hampton got down to 25, 32 at Islip, and looks like a, uh, some radiational cooling in the Jersey Pine Barrens, mid 20s for lows. But that's you know about average for this time of the year. Um, nothing really amazing. So slightly above normal today, but we're going to be. Uh, going above normal as we get toward this week, unfortunately. Um, so let's go to the weather the models here, and you'll see uh, that we have that high-pressure system is moving offshore, gives us the southwesterly flow, and you'll see some uh, little waves in the flow, uh, and that's going to bring some, some some rain chances, though mainly light rain chances, um, until we get later on in the week as we get toward Thursday. Uh, that you can see there's a warm front there that's going to trigger some. And just to our north, there might be some frozen precipitation later Wednesday night to Thursday. Uh, and then that low passes off to the south. Another low passes up into the Great Lakes. Um, and then uh, we have uh, a little bit of cold air coming down. High pressure builds in just real briefly. Here it is for Saturday. And then this next system comes. And you can see already the high pressure system is now moving in a position where, yeah, we would have rain once again. Um, so, yeah, and then the next, you can see the next high pressure coming in there. Uh, same thing again, lows tracking over the lakes. Uh, though it's trying to develop a coastal low on this. This is over a week away, uh, just looking at the end of the month right now, uh, all the way to the end of the month. And then beyond that, do we really see any snowstorms? No, we do not see any snowstorms. So, and as far as any really cold air goes, I mean, looking at this week, which we're going to do right now, um, 
you'll see uh, the warmth that we're going to be dealing with tomorrow, well above normal tomorrow. Gets muted a little bit on Thursday, um, and then gets muted again because we're going to be dealing with like a stalled front uh, or in our area. And then you'll see uh, that warm. You can see how warm it gets over the mid-Atlantic, uh, but you'll see this is where the stall front is going to be. So, yeah, we're going to be playing with a stall front this weekend, which is going to be an unsettled weather, plenty of clouds. And then as we get toward Friday, you'll see the temperatures start dropping below normal. Friday, much below normal. Friday night, we'll have a little bit of cold air coming in for Saturday before it gets warm again. And then, yeah, a little more cold air coming in there for uh, Monday night. At least there's some cold air coming in to the picture. But then after that, look at this. We're above normal again. Huge ridge in the east. Draw all the cold air is going into the west. I, I mean, it just you just cannot win here. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. If you look at the actual air temperatures here, you'll see, uh, you know, I mean, you go into the west, you know, that's where the cold air is. Uh, I mean, it's just, where's, we're not getting a winter this year. It's, it's so unbelievable. We're going to go through the whole winter without any snow. I mean, can you can, uh, can you believe it? Um, yeah, we can look at the European model, see if it looks any different. Uh, I'd rather use the 12Z run here. Um, I don't think it does, unfortunately. So, you know, into the lakes. Yep, that goes into the lakes. Here comes the high for Friday into Saturday. That, now the European wants to develop the coastal low and possibly possibly give us some snow but we all know the european and then boom here we go again another one going well up into the lakes so yeah it's you know can i say i mean it's just it's pathetic it really is it's just that's no other way to describe it uh, this pattern that we're in uh so let's go to the and I'll, and I'll go over the jet streams more tomorrow night i was thinking of not doing a weather update tonight but I uh, figured we'll do one because we do have some slight rain chances overnight. You can see uh, those slight rain chances. The H triple R here, you can see a little bit offshore, a little shower activity off. Otherwise, for tomorrow, very, very slight rain chances uh, until we get toward maybe later in the evening. It looks like they're trying to develop something over New Jersey. Um, and then uh, Tuesday looks to be a more active day, I think. There could be actually be some thunderstorms. It's actually popping up some showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon right there uh, with that uh, system right there that you see. And you'll see why we're going to have thunderstorms. So if we go and look at the dew points here, back this up here, uh, you'll see that we have the southwest winds tonight. Tomorrow they eventually become a little more westerly, and you see some drier air trying to work in to the area. Then as we get to a Tuesday, you'll see we have a stalled frontal boundary with an easterly flow. And that turns suddenly. And then here we go with another front. But again, remember, these fronts are stalling out. And then later uh, Tuesday uh, into Wednesday, you see the winds become westerly once again. And this is the HRRR model, by the way. Uh, so let's look at our air temperatures. So our air temperatures are tomorrow. We're going to be well into the 50s, perhaps near 60 degrees. It's going to be very warm tomorrow, well above normal once again. Uh, and then as far as tonight, we're not going to wind up dropping that much. And then tomorrow night, probably still going to start to drop probably to the, maybe by the morning you'll have mid-30s. And then Tuesday should be a much colder day over Long Island. But you'll notice, look at how much warmer it is in New Jersey. So we have a stationary front that will be sitting over us on Tuesday. That's going to be the focal point for those showers and thunderstorms to develop. All right, because a wave is going to move along it. And you'll see Long Island, generally mid-40s. If you're in Jersey, you could be 55 to 60. Um, so that's what the HRRR has. And if we go to the GFS, we want to go a little further here. Um, go back to the dew points. All right, so here's the dew points. And you'll see, again, you'll see the winds becoming westerly tomorrow and then becoming easterly on Tuesday. And then here we are Wednesday Northwest winds, but again, you can see where the stall frontal boundary is. I mean, you can so you can see it's right here. It's right out for you. Uh, it's right here. You got a stationary front right here. Uh, and this is what I mean when I say we're going to be playing with stall front syndrome this week uh, because there's your stationary front right there. Uh, so that's going to bring in the clouds and precipitation chances later on Wednesday night. Uh, and then you'll see there's that 
next system approaching there along the front. Easterly winds across us. So we may not actually get into the warm air that day on a, on a Thursday. Um, you'll see the northeast winds. But the dew points stay above freezing, so any precipitation would be rain. Uh, and then as we get to Friday, as that system passes, then we go to the northwest winds, and then we get into that uh, colder air mass that'll give us some below normal weather, maybe a little maybe a little bit of an arctic element to that air mass there that we'll have north winds on Saturday uh, becoming easterly. Then that air mass retreats. Next system comes up. Uh, you get the idea here as far as I'll go here. Um, but let's go and look at our actual air temperatures. So you can see as we get into Tuesday, Tuesday will be, you can see the difference between Long Island and New Jersey. I mean, a uh, big difference because your, st your stationary front is right there. All right, and then as we get into Wednesday, you can see it's already cooler. We'll have temperatures in the mid-40s, uh, which will eventually can be considered normal as we get to the middle of March. Uh, and then uh, you can see there's your stationary front. That Look at this. So this is Thursday. Look at the incredible warmth that will be off to our south. Luckily, we will not get into this. All right, because if we did, this would be record-breaking. Mid-70s mid 70s for uh the mid-atlantic even del marva and the southern part of jersey you could see that uh but luckily it looks like it's going to stay to our south because if this if this came up in our direction uh we'd have well we'd smash the records that we just set earlier this month um we'll have to watch and see if it does this is the gfs we'll have to look at a few more models you can see the stationary front there and then friday you could see Friday is going to be much colder. Temperatures generally in the low to mid 30s for a change. Uh, and here overnight, we're going to drop, probably drop into the 20s and maybe even teens by Saturday morning. And then Saturday, look at that. We may not get above freezing on Long Island. Uh, maybe maybe cracking above freezing on in New Jersey. And then, but the problem is that air retreats. And then Sunday, we're warming back up again. So let's go and look at. Uh, a few more models here as far as those temperatures. I'm curious. Uh, so let's go to the Icon model. And then I'm going to go back to the GFS for a little bit here, all right? Let's see what the Icon model is doing with that warm front. Oh, look, see, though, this is the Icon. See, the Icon is bringing it into our area. Uh, if that would have happened, uh, that would be, that would smash the mid-70s for Jersey. Uh, so that's the Icon model. So you can see there are differences in the models. And, you know, I'm going to see what the European does that i know the 18z doesn't take us far enough out so let me look at the 12z brings that warm air awful close so we're gonna have to see that warm air is gonna try to make a run at us all right that is some really warm air this is record-breaking warmth that we're gonna be seeing uh that's that's incredible that's incredible uh warmth right there i've never seen that before i mean it's gonna be 80 in dc i mean what are we gonna have cherry blossoms blooming in washington in a few weeks the right things are going i mean <laughs> you know um Absolutely crazy. So, and the reason why, we take this back to the Kona's view, and we go and we look at our weather systems here. You'll see that European, uh, this is the European here. Let me go switch this over to the icon. So it has a much stronger ridge, and it has the winds going more westerly. So that is the icon model right there. So pretty crazy stuff. So we're not completely out of the woods with this ridiculous warmth yet. I want to go back to the GFS and look at the FGen as we head into Tuesday. I just want to see. Because there is, like I said, some models are producing some of that severe weather that uh, or some thunderstorm activity. Each triple R doesn't offer that, but... Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that because that wave, again, you have that humidity off to the south. And we'll have to see what kind of, again, what kinda, what that does. You can see what it does on the afternoon Tuesday. It could be active with some thunderstorms right there, um, which, again, is interesting. Let's see what we get. Let's look at this. Yeah. So there is some instability up there. So that's that's something we'll have to watch for here. Actually, it shows us the cape, too, as well. So, not terribly impressive, but, you know, yeah, this looks like thund convective, convective activity. So, well, I have to keep an eye on it with that front in our vicinity. Okay, so I'm going to look at a few more models. As far as the rain goes, we'll go ahead and look at the NAM as well. 
Uh, I'll have to use the 18Z. Uh, looking at the Reign of Mar, because, you know, you watch Channel 12, I mean, her uh, Meredith Garthalo, also known as Mrs. Umbrella, because she looks like Mary Poppins, and she's always happy about when the rain is, when there's rain uh, in the forecast, you know, and she's blowing it out of proportion, and I don't think there's much of a chance of rain at all tomorrow, actually, um, until we get to it later in the evening, maybe. Uh, I think Tuesday is going to be your more active day. Uh, you'll see some showers and possibly some thunderstorms. Uh, move moving through during the after, late morning and afternoon hours on Tuesday. Um, so that is uh, that's what I think. But let's go now to the RGM model. We'll look at our skies, um, and I don't think we'll. Ha well, I don't think for sure we will have a lot of clouds around. Uh, so this is your RGM from our a lot of high and mid level clouds. However, you'll see. Notice it gets a little better toward later in the afternoon. So maybe yeah, I, I think you'll you might see some sunshine mixed in, more clouds than sun, but you might see some sunshine mixed in. And then Tuesday, that's the day you're going to have plenty of clouds and you won't see the sun at all. And then as far as Wednesday goes, you'll start off with sun in the morning. And these high clouds are going to quickly roll in ahead of that next system right there again because you're in that zonal flow. Uh, we can look at the NAM as well with skies. Let's go to the NAM here. And let's look at the NAM for tomorrow. NAM is showing a lot more clouds, but still you can see this is around 4 o'clock. You, you might see some peaks of sun out there. Tuesday, obviously not. And then Wednesday, we have this advancing system that's coming. Um, GFS. This is the GFS. All right, so this is your GFS model here. For tomorrow, obviously GFS always makes it look worse because of the low resolution. Uh, but obviously, with the unsettled weather, you know, when would be our next sunny day be? Possibly Friday. Uh, I don't think it's going to be Saturday because the Cirrus might roll in from the next system. But that, like I said, that's a ways away at this point. Uh, so uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. But uh, what can I tell you? It's, uh, this, warm, this, this warmth is, is r ridiculous that we're going to have. And we're going to have to watch again for that warmth. Um, later on in the week here. Obviously, we have a disagreement between the GFS and the ICON and the URO as far as what's going to happen and how far north they, east that warmth gets. Uh, but that would that would break, uh, that would make the last little warm way we had look like nothing. All right. I mean, it's just going to be very, very warm if that if that winds up getting up here. Yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy uh, for sure. Uh, but right now, it's too, it's too early to tell what's going to happen. Um, but just expect a lot of clouds tomorrow, and again, uh, it's going to be warmer, um, and yep, I know, uh, this is the year without a winter, uh, we're not having a winter this year, it's, it's very alarming, and everybody's talking about it, maybe this is finally going to get people to talk about how serious this climate uh, crisis is, uh, but that's going to wrap up this weather update for tonight, thank you for watching, and have a good night.